The Mesmerize effect, found in Dashwood Editor Essentials, attempts to emulate the look of the Kish Optics Mesmerizer that was very popular in the 90s for a hallucinogenic look to the footage. Let's apply it and, and have a look at what Mesmerize can do. Now, I'm using Final Cut Pro 7, but the filter works exactly the same way in Premiere Pro, After Effects, Motion, and Final Cut Pro 10. So let's have a look at what we can do. If we rotate the angle, we can see that we're changing the, uh, the stretch angle, and this is basically doing a, uh, uh, an anamorphic stretch. And the intensity slider just increases the amount of that stretch. Now with this uh, desert footage here, let's just transition from basically no effect. So we'll turn the intensity down to zero. And then I'll put a couple keyframes right at the front of the clip. And now I want to transition into my mesmerize look. So after a few seconds, we will increase the intensity and then we'll move a little further down, down near the end, and we'll put a bunch of rotation cycles in. So I'll just keep turning the uh, rotation here. Actually, we may not need to go that far, maybe just, say, a little over 600 degrees. So now what happens is, if I hit play, we'll see that we transition into it. Now we can change these keyframes and move them around a little bit so that we start with normal footage. So here's the transition into our mesmerize look. And if we want to increase the amount of the angle change here, we can just increase it like that. Now let's take another look. And now we get an even neater effect. Now if you want to make this look really cool, you can just add some motion blur. So in Final Cut Pro 7, I've just gone to the Motion tab, and I'm turning on Motion Blur. Now of course this will have to render, but you can already see the really cool motion blur effect we're going to get, and I'm just going to increase the samples even more. Very cool. Look at that. So that's Mesmerize.